Okay guys, so this is the beginning of the big project that I have to do for Siren and first thing I need to do, I need to lift her off of the trailer. So I put this, and I'll put a description link, uh, boat stands, I bought two for the back because in the front I'm going to use something else, but this is where it's very important to keep it stable. I don't want it to, you know, fall or crash. So what I'm going to do on the other side, I already lifted it up and pushed the stand in. I'm going to push this stand a little bit more in. So I have lift. lift the whole boat and trailer up a little more on this side. are amazing because the top will move and contour with the deck, you know, with the hull. So if the hull is a little curved, what this does is tilts so that uh, so that it's you know contours with the hull. And now I just set it down gently. And it's actually going to go ahead and sit on the stand. Also, I should probably take the belt off so that it's not, uh, you know, because the belt is holding on the trail, everyone. Release that. And now we have we already lifted it pretty much all the way all the way off of the trailer in the back. Also what I can do with this thing, if I want to crank it up some more, all I have to do is turn these things and it actually can lift the boat up more if I need it up. I don't think I'll need it up much more than this. But if I need it to just turn these turns and this will actually lift the whole boat up. So these stands are amazing. I mean, if I had to take the boat down to boat yard to do this project and pay them, it would cost me at least 60 bucks a day to keep it there. So, amazing. I'll put a link in the description. And then for the front, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to I'm going to get a belt. I'm going to rip it around a hole, and then I have this hook. So I'll lift the trailer, the whole trailer and boat up. I'm going to tighten it so that you know it's holding. Then I'm going to go ahead and put it back down, pull the trailer out while this is hanging, and then I'll get a blocks and some two by fours and put a cross here so that the front is stable and then I'll put some blocks underneath so that the whole boat is resting on a keel so that I'm not putting too much pressure on the hull. So that's the plan. So 